hello and welcome to special data hub in this video i'm going to show you how you can edit labels in qgis so you could easily show the features the attributes of a feature on the feature so if you don't have your layers panel activated here simply right click on your toolbar and you see layers panel check the box to make sure it's showing here so now your layers panel click on the layer which you want to use we want to use this land use data it's quite a massive data so right click on it let's just see the attributes table here i want to show the type and the land use area for each layer so that on each land use you see the type of land use and you see the area so here i'll click on my layer styling panel let me just close this so you see how it comes up so on layer styling panel there are so many ways to achieve the same results but if you don't know any of them you can always follow this one so if you want to change the layer here layer to be styled you can always use the drop down here now we'll be editing the symbol the labels so you click on labels under labels currently set to no labels so we'll set it to single labels Let's see what it presents. Okay, so it presents the name of the feature, as you can see from the value here. So if we want a single label, we can simply use the land use area to say, okay, show us the land use area of each feature. But remember, we want to show the land use type as well as the area. So if you want a single label, you can go ahead to edit every other um, feature of the label. But here we want two labels, so click on the expression. So let's type in an expression. As you can see in the expression builder, you have just land use area here. So let's add to that. Under the fields and values, click on the drop down. Select the feature, the field which you want double click on it so we want land use type right so we double click on land use type we can easily type it in here with double quotation and the the column name but just to be sure that you're not making a mistake you can always do that anyways and then we use the concatenate function which is um this double stroke click on it so this concatenates this. If you do it this way, as we can see here, as you can see in the preview, it's showing one of the first options, residential, and then the land use area. So we can decide to say, okay, let's add a comma in between both. So you click on the single quotation, you click on comma and single quotation, and then you use your concatenate function again. Now check out the preview. You see there is no space, so let's add a space in between. That's fine, right? That's an option. Another thing you can do is, okay, let's add a third layer. Let's add a third label. Let's add a concatenate again. And then this time we will add a new line feature so that it takes the text to a new line and then let's add um, the OSM ID the OSM ID this is invalid because we did we skipped a concatenate function here yes so this is it when you're done with it just simply click on OK and here you go so you have your features, your attributes displayed on each layer. You can always edit it to your tests. There are two major ones I'll just like to show here. For the placements, you can see where I clicked on placements. You can add a distance. This is very necessary when you're working with um, line features, especially line features where you want it to show at so and so distance apart maybe it's the same road length but 
so that you don't start scrolling through okay let's okay that will take a lot of time but we can always set it up line features maybe four meters apart and all of that then you can set drop shadows this makes it look a little more better you can set the colors to anything other than black you can set um call outs when you're working with very small features you can set call outs you can draw call outs here set it to this these are not cramped up that's why it doesn't really need call outs as you can see from a distance now it easily shows the call outs of features as you can see here but when you zoom in call outs are not really necessary when you zoom in but yeah this is the point so you can always play around with it you can um, set a background if you want a background i'm not a fan of that you can set buffer if you want buffers if you want that and all of that so thank you for watching if you have any questions or you have more findings on this do well to leave a comment leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video